What if I told you that new advancements in credit scoring models for small business loans could get your business the amount it needs, even if traditional banks have said no in the past? And just these advancements in scoring models are now allowing lenders to approve these smaller business loans faster and more efficiently than before? Stick around and learn how lenders are now more willing than ever before to lend to small businesses like yours and how you can take advantage of it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is Jackson No with No Finance for you, the latest news and insights about small business finance. If you've been wondering how to get a smaller loan approved faster, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll see how advancements in scoring model technologies are making it easier for lenders to approve smaller loans for smaller businesses, which could open up new opportunities for your business. Today, we're talking about how new technologies are revolutionizing small business lending, specifically by making it easier for banks to lend smaller dollar amounts. Lenders are adopting smarter credit systems, giving them confidence to lend smaller loans. Most people think that getting a small loan should be easier than securing a large one, but lenders actually face more challenges with smaller loans. Well, what if I told you that some lenders and banks are actually starting to prefer issuing smaller loans? Before we dive in, let me quickly mention that all this is based on a conversation between Lumos Data, a company whose mission is to help lenders grow and diversify their small business loan portfolios, and the Coleman Report, a top provider of small business banking insights. This partnership is reshaping how banks look at lending smaller amounts to businesses. In the eyes of the banker, let's look at the trade-offs between small and large loan amounts for businesses. According to Brett Keynes, so Lumos Data, for smaller loans to make sense, the cost to originate those loans needs to be six times less than larger loans. That's why many banks traditionally focus on the larger loan amounts. But what if there was a way to make those smaller loans more attractive to banks? Small loans carry a high risk profile, especially in tough economic times. But here's where things get interesting. Lenders can diversify that risk by issuing more loans to different industries. Instead of, say, issuing one $1 million loan, you could lend $50,000 to 20 different companies representing several different industries. What's the hidden advantage of spreading that risk? We'll get into that shortly. The game is shaded. Small loans are now priced higher, allowing lenders to make up for that extra risk. This means that you can still get the financing that your business needs and the banks can make it work for them too. And here's where it gets even better. SBA lenders are now leveling off their game to compete with those fintech lenders. They are able to use their own proprietary credit scoring systems, but they have to be approved by regulators. Ever wonder how your credit score affects your application? In a moment, I'll go over how the SBA's credit scoring system works. You've probably heard before that only fintech lenders are quick and flexible, but that's no longer true. Traditional lenders are catching up fast. Lumos Data takes this even further. They've created their own proprietary credit scoring system that goes way beyond the SBA's standard credit scoring system that includes local and national economic factors. They look at unemployment rates, inflation, and labor force participation nationwide and all the way down to a county level. A combination of these data points, among others, gives these lenders a more accurate view of the entire lending environment. Imagine getting approved because a lender understands the unique conditions of your local economy. Lumos's data system makes that possible. Ever wonder why some applications get approved while others don't? Stay tuned, we're about to reveal what lenders are really looking at. So what does this mean for you? With these new technologies and scoring models, lenders are now more confident than ever in issuing these smaller loans to businesses. This opens up more opportunities for business owners that may not have qualified before. You may have heard that it's impossible to get a smaller loan from a bank, but new advancements are proving otherwise. Want to know how to boost your chances of getting approval even if asking for a small loan? I've got some tips coming up. Small business lending is changing and it's happening fast. With lenders adopting new scoring models and underwriting systems, businesses of all sizes can access the capital that they need to grow, even in tough economic times. What's the best strategy to approach these new borrowing opportunities? We'll explore that soon. Now that we've covered how advancements in technology are helping lenders offer smaller loans, let's talk about some specific tips to help increase your chances of getting approved. First thing is still to know your credit score, both business and personal, and still one of the most important factors when it comes to applying for a loan. So if you're looking to apply for an SBA loan, you're going to need at least a 650 or above personal FICO credit score. When it comes to the business credit scoring models, so they actually take a mix of the FICO and the business credit scoring together. But each bank and lender that offers these SBA loans are different. So like we were talking about with Lumos, they have their own credit scoring model. So banks and lenders that use Lumos are going to be different than banks and lenders that use the credit scoring model from the SBA. The SBA's credit scoring model is called the SBSS. That ranges from zero to 300. And you need at least, most lenders ask for a 155 or above. A 155 SBSS score is comparable to a personal FICO credit score of 640 to 650. So as long as it's fair, 
you should go ahead and apply for the SBA and see if you pre-qualify. Now, when it comes to lenders that are using Lumos, again, they're going to take more factors into account, whether it be macroeconomic or local factors. So again, if there's no perfect science to it, just some lenders and banks like certain industries, and that's where I come into play. I know I've been doing this for a long time and I know where to point you all in the right direction based on what your business needs are, your industry, how long you've been in business, so on and so forth. There's a lot of factors when it comes into credit decisioning. Now, if you're looking for something other than an SBA loan, maybe it's a line of credit, just a virtual cash be, it's a term loan, if you're trying to work with a bank, it just all, it all depends. Not every one of those loans, typically those loans don't look into SBSS scores unless you're working with with a bank to get a bank term loan. Um, a lot of these online lenders are just going off your personal FICO credit score. So with that said, some tips and tricks on, on personal credit scores. I'm not a credit score guru, so I just have limited knowledge. Just make sure you're paying off your credit cards. Don't utilize too much of the percentage of your the, the max spitting amount that you could put on a personal or business credit card. One way to build business credit, you could take out a business credit card and start paying on that. Make sure you don't spend too much. But that is one option. Other than that, you've taken out loans in the past and paid on them. That will that will build up your credit score as well over time. So just with that said, it's it's pretty self-explanatory as far as credit scores. Just make sure that you are paying your debts whenever you have credit card debt or if you have loans or taxes too. Make sure that you're just taking care of all of the all of that good stuff and you should have good credit scores, both personal and business, and be able to apply for great programs like the SBA. Second thing is to have your business's financials prepared. Those financials may include, but are not limited to personal business tax returns, business bank statements, balance sheet, profit and loss, income statements, personal financial statements. So the rule of thumb is the more secured the loan is, the more documents that you're going to have to provide, the more unsecured it is, like say a merchant cash means where there's no collateral involved, it's unsecured, it's only a six to 12 month term, maybe 24 months that you're paying on. Those are only going to require bank statements and an application, maybe a tax return. So again, the more secured, the more documents you're going to provide, the less secured, the less you have to provide. The third and final tip is the most important one. Pick the right loan or right loan marketplace. Not all of it is safe. Look for a lender or a loan marketplace that offers flexibility in their loan terms and approval criteria. You want to pick one that covers what we talked about today. One that considers both business and personal credit, but also those local and macroeconomic factors at play. Good thing for you all. I know just the place to go. Smart Biz and I have worked together for years, helping small businesses find loans for $500,000 or less in a very quick and efficient manner. They've been operating since 2009, consistently refining their processes and credit decisioning to help small business owners with the right type of financing to help grow their businesses. To find out if you qualify for one of these Smart Biz loans, I left the application link in the description, and it only takes a minute to find out if you're a good fit for Smart Biz. Applying is absolutely free and they do a soft credit check, so it's not going to affect your personal or business credit scores. Thank you for tuning in today. We've covered a lot of ground. From the trade-offs between small and large business loans to how new credit scoring systems are making smaller loans more accessible. If you've been denied for a business loan in the past, now might be a good time to try again. You might be a little closer to approval than you think, and with these new tools, securing a small business loan has never been easier. Many people assume you need a perfect credit score to get financing, but with these new technologies, there's more flexibility than ever before. Curious to see how these technologies will shape the future of business lending? Stick with us for future updates. Want to know if you're eligible for these type of loans? Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video where we'll dive deeper into that. Hope this video helped and see you in the next one.